At the Freshwater Institute, we work to pioneer technologies to improve farm fish production, actually increase the production in systems to practically eliminate water pollution and the requirement for water. This allows us to meet stringent point source discharge limits and locate the facility almost anywhere in the United States. The key is to maintain excellent water quality and we use technologies to maintain that water quality. We're able to raise almost every species of fish in water recycle systems. We've primarily raised rainbow trout because it was almost the canary in a coal mine since the salmon requires the very best water quality and the recycle system has to be designed to maintain that. We've also raised Atlantic salmon. We can produce an Atlantic salmon to four and a half kilos just 24 months from hatch. In water recycle systems, we have to remove all of the waste that is produced because it would accumulate and affect the fish negatively. So we have technologies that remove solids, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and then add oxygen. So we raise fish in circular tanks in water recycle systems because circular tanks are most effective at removing solids. The tank rotates and it creates a teacup effect where the primary rotating flow creates a secondary radial flow that moves the solids to the center. This primary rotating flow is actually excellent for fish health as the fish swim at one to two body lengths per second, even as high as four body lengths per second near the wall, which trains the fish so they're not sedentary and they're fit. So we generally find customers want to use water recycle systems for three reasons. They're either short on water, they have a pollution problem that they can't afford to pollute because the regulations won't allow it, or they have a fish disease problem. And the fish disease problem is generally coming in with the water supply in a flow-through system. With water recycle systems, not only do we have very low water use and capture the waste, but we exclude the obligate fish pathogens so that we don't operate systems with uh, the common diseases you'd find in flow-through systems. No frunculosis, no enteric red mouth disease, uh, none of the viruses. We can operate this way because we bring in certified pathogen free eggs. We have a building that prevents the entry of mammals and fish that could carry diseases to, those, to our fish. And we have a clean water support, supply. So a very small water supply from a groundwater source is generally pathogen free. Uh, and if it did have pathogens, it's very small flow and you can afford to disinfect it. So with these biosecurity practices in place, and good biosecurity practices in place with your staff, you can maintain systems that don't get these obligate pathogens and you don't require antibiotics or harsh chemicals. For the last 15 years, we've not used an antibiotic, pesticide, or harsh chemicals with our fish because we maintain good biosecurity.